go Everything I do, I do it with a passion If I gotta be a bitch, I'ma be a bad one I'm AI with the designs, do rag Hey guys, welcome to my channel and this is look number two of the three Valentine's Day look that I'll be doing for you guys. If you do like this tutorial, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Comment down below, let me know what are your thoughts on this tutorial. And before you go, remember to hit that subscription button, that way you'll be the first to know whenever I upload. I already did my brows and primed my lids off camera. If you are interested in seeing how I do my brows, please to check my description bar for a brow tutorial. Now I'm just blending out the edges of this eyeshadow primer and I am using this as my transition shade. I am going back and forth and keep building up this shadow. So I'm going back and forth blending this in my crease and serving it as my transition shade and as you can see I am winging that out to the whole of the after eye. To further deepen up the crease I went in with this brown shadow and I am working very lightly so I am keep I keep adding more shadows so now I went in with the black and concentrating this right in my crease area I'm not taking up this too far because we just want it nice and low so when we create that cut crease we can have that defined crease look so going back on top of that black because I think the shadow went up too far and I want everything to be seamless, I am going back over with the same blending brush and blending that back and forth. To define, to, to define the crease, I am using the LA Girl Pro Primer in white and I'm just using this all over the lid and where my crease naturally grows, I am just defining that crease line and winging it out to the outer corner of the eyes so I place that white primer all over now I'm using this single eyeshadow and it is from forever 21 you can check my description bar if you're interested in this shadow and I will definitely leave the name below so I'm just using a flat shadow brush just to blend this all over the lid I did spritz my brush so the shadow could be more metallic now I'm using a smaller brush just to use on the outer and the inner corner of the eye I'm using the wet and wild liquid liner just to serve as my wing and I am just making a nice modest wing I am taking a black eyeliner pencil any black eyeliner pencil should do and I'm just smudging this on my lower lashes I'm going to add fuzzy and now for foundation I am using the MAC NW45 and I'm just using this as my foundation. Now for highlighting I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Foundation and I'm just using this for my highlighting shade. This shade is in amber and blending this out using my beauty blender. So I highlight all the areas of the face that I would want to have more light and then I am setting my face using the Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I'm setting this all over the highlighted areas. Now for contouring I am going to use the Black Radiance Contour Palette and I'm just chiseling out my cheekbone and going around the perimeters of the face so that this could look more natural for blush I did went in with the beauty street blush palette and I used the orange shade from that palette I am now removing the excess setting powder from the face now for my nose contour I went in with the black radiance contour palette and just defined in the nose now to set everything together I'm using the LA Girl setting spray and when you use the setting spray it allows the look to be more more skin like and not powdery and harsh I'm just defending my lower lashes now using the same crease color just to blend underneath my lashes and go over all the work that would have done with the high now for my brow bone highlight the same forever 21 
shadow that we use for the eye I'm just going right on top and blending this out making sure there's nothing harsh and it is seamless for mascara I'm using the Farber 21 Love and Beauty mascara this I love this mascara for the lower lashes and yeah I'm just adding this just to further intensify the look some more for my lips I am using the LA girl lip liner and this is in red and I'm just going to use a Mary Kay really red lipstick just to place all over the center of this we want this look to be very bold and very dramatic because we're going for that look for highlighter I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is Sunray from that glow kit yeah it's the new Anastasia glow kit and I'm using Sunray just to highlight my cheekbones the bridge part of my nose and of course my cupid's bow so this is the look guys i hope you like it and if you do please go ahead and give it a thumbs up she works the night by the water she's gone astray so far away from my father's daughter she just wants her life they can see it Say me a overdid, overdid, oh yeah. Aye, y'all have you say, why make you clean so? Oh yeah, y'all have you say, why make you clean so? I grade smoke a flow through me window. Me a overdid.